What is going on YouTube? It is your buddy, everybody's buddy, Car Craftsman, back with another video. And today I am welcoming you into the paint booth because we are working on a 2004, I think it is, Pontiac Grand Prix. And this thing has a really nice special color to it. It's uh, It's got a lot of pearl to it and it's kind of got like a little bit of a, a flip-flop hue to it with a lot of pearl in that. It's called Bermuda Blue, Bermuda Blue, Bermuda Blue. <laughs> and we are going to lay this down today, base coat on this thing and then clear coat using the Black Widow spray gun. Now I bought the Black Widow quite a while ago and uh, I made my first video of it and it's done really well on YouTube and uh, I keep making videos about it because I don't mind using it and it gets me views. So we are going to check out the durability of this thing and uh, see how well it's going to lay this base coat down. Now, uh, when I bought this thing, I didn't have, you know what I mean, the greatest expectations in the world for it. But, I mean, you pay $150, $160, $200 dollars for a gun, a paint gun, and you want it to lay down stuff uh, really finely. And this thing has done that for clear coat. It is a great gun to use. Uh, I've also used it for uh, another video, spraying metallic base coats, and I've used it for spraying your thing single stages you can check out my other videos here on youtube but today we are going to be laying down base coat on this thing this is just some lacquer primer that i've already put on there and i've scratched that up with some 1000 and in order to get good coverage for this bermuda blue uh, i'm going to use some of this sapphire black uh, now this bermuda blue actually calls for a value shade of seven which is a very very dark sealer uh, this being just uh, lacquer primer gray it's obviously not dark and uh, i'm going to make it dark with this uh, pure black sapphire now the reason i'm using this is it's obviously dark this is the color that's going to come out of there but this doesn't have any metallics in it and it does have a lot of familiar colors that are in this here. So uh, it not being metallic, having some of the same pearls, being a darker shade, I believe this is gonna lay a nice base down on this car in order for me to lay down the blue and have that flip-flop paint come out and looking really nice. And we're gonna get right down to work, guys. I'm gonna load up my Black Widow spray gun with my 3M PPS cups, and I'm gonna get dressed a little bit more appropriate, and we're just gonna start laying down some base coat. So, you know the deal, too. If you like the video, please, please, please like the video. I really wanna start making some ad revenue here on YouTube. Subscribe for more of this content, because I promise you I'm gonna keep making content if you keep encouraging me. Thank you for watching. Let's do this. All right, I got everything loaded up with my base color. I'm gonna lay down a fan pattern behind me and I'm gonna spray my first coat of base.
using the same exact settings, we're going to do round two of the base coat and hope for good coverage. Let our, uh, we let our sealer coat dry. I've got this loaded up with the flip flop paint. We're gonna hope for good coverage here. I got 10 ounces of this paint. It thins out to 20 ounces. I hope that's enough to get full coverage on here. We're gonna find out though. Alright guys, I am going to lie, if I don't get covered this time, I'm going to get a little bit worried. I'm going to lay this thing down a little bit heavy and see if I can't get it to lay down and cover.
quite the coverage I'm looking for. It's looking good, but not quite the coverage that I'm looking for. Look how much darker that vendor is. I should have started with a black sealer. I should have primered everything in black and uh, just started from there. But I didn't, and now you know why it's so important to do something like that. Hopefully this doesn't come out horrible. Alright, third coat of base. I really don't want to have much uh, faith in this coat really covering, but uh, this is going to be the last because that's all the paint I have left. We'll see. Well guys, the atomization is good. The paint job is good. The base coat flowed on there really nice. And that flip flop color looks pretty cool on there, I think. It's gonna look even cooler underneath of the clear. But yep. If you could see that, that's a distinct, distinct difference there and when that gets out into the sun that's certainly going to show uh, hopefully not a lot but it's going to show now this guy brought this thing to me and he has absolutely no expectations if I I'm bringing you down here if you look right there that's a crack in the bumper uh, there's other scratches and stuff like that in here and I think his girlfriend made him get this thing painted more than he even cared to get it painted uh, that's no excuse for uh, not doing our best and I am doing my best as far as a paint job goes but that uh, it's a little disappointing to get and that's why it's always important to have your value shade base coat on there first and if you follow the directions a lot of times it comes out good as things still looking good I can't wait to put the clear coat on here with the black widow and that thing's going to look wet in just a second all right here it is the moment you've all been waiting for right this is where this thing really shines now it laid one hell of a base coat on there and as you can see, the scenery's changed a little bit. I untaped the headlights, hopefully with a fresh batch of clear coat over top of them. They're going to look fantastic. Uh, I've already got it tagged, like I said, and we are going to lay this clear coat on there. Uh, I bumped the air pressure up. We're a little over 35 pounds now. 
Uh, that's really going to break up this clear coat and send this stuff in the air. Can't wait. Here we go. Last of all, coat number two of the clear coat. I'm going to lay this one heaven.
we think this thing doesn't do too bad, right? Uh, I've sprayed probably 30 cars out of this thing already, and uh, I use it mostly for clear coats, but it obviously will lay down that base coat pretty damn good too. Uh, this color looks fantastic. The paint came out really well, and uh, even though it doesn't match exactly right, I think I'm gonna be happy with this video. So you know the deal, guys. If you learned anything like this video, please, please subscribe for more content like this. I'll probably be doing a couple more with the Black Widow. I do plan on getting the 1.7 tip here and doing some uh, some sealers and some primers with it. And uh, yeah, just looking to make the best content that I know how. And let me know what you want to see down in the description and I'll try my best to make it happen. Thank you for watching. Car Craftsman out.